Hi there guys, how's it going? Um, so I've gone ahead and made a little Excel spreadsheet which hopefully is going to help you guys improve your score in this high score challenge and potentially every high score challenge going forward. It's really nothing too special, it's just an Excel spreadsheet that I want you guys to fill out as you're going through a high score challenge. And the point of this is that if you've done a run where you think, okay, I can't possibly pull anymore or I can't improve my score percentage wise any further, I'm going to experiment with different configurations and different techniques as I'm going through the high score challenge and potentially that way I can come up with a better run. So to that end, I've made a tool that you guys can help use. Um, if you do end up liking this tool and you want me to keep making them for future high score challenges, do let me know that you've used it. I'll leave this one on my Discord channel and if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up and start using it for your runs and if it's helpful to you, if it's not helpful to you, let me know. Let me know how, how I can improve it and I mean it's pretty ugly right now for that, at the very very least so we can definitely improve it visually. Um, maybe make it a bit easier to use. Anyway, let's go through what it actually is. So again, nothing too special. Essentially right here, I've gone ahead and routed out the path uh, for the, well, there are three paths in this high score challenge, for example. So we've gone ahead and done the red path with, as you can see, a red gummy, gummy copter first. And, you know, there are four enemies in the first room. That's kind of what this uh, black box here represents. Two enemies in the second room. Uh, one enemy, like kind of like a boss enemy in the third room. Three in the next, then one. And then the final room, which is the same for all three paths uh, in, well, yeah, the third room with three enemies in it. Uh, and that's the same for the red, the blue, and the green path. So I've gone ahead and done a run on each of those. Um, I've taken in 94% Keyblade, which again, this is only, right now the numbers in here are unique to me because obviously that's the configuration I went in with. Um, I've listed out that I did it with Stroke of Midnight and I did it with 94%. It's probably pretty hard for you guys to see this, I'll zoom in and touch. Uh, I did it with a Kairi Plus, a Percentage Metal, a Percentage Metal, a Keyout 17, a Percentage Metal, which the percentage just represents 10%. They're like the, sorry, guaranteed medals that were given away on every single pull when I pulled for Kairi. Um, a Trait Metal in slot 6, and then... Oh, sorry, the pet slot rather, and then Akari Plus as a friend. Um, that was one of the runs I did on the red path. I changed that up slightly when I went to the blue path, and I've done a couple of runs on there as well. Um, again, you guys can see that. So, uh, Starlight, I've gone ahead and done a 94% run, again, with percentage, 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 Kari Plus, KR17, Trey Metal, Kari Plus. And I'm thinking like, okay, just to show you guys what I mean by this and how it could potentially be useful, I've gone ahead and done that run several times. And so... Every time I go through and do a run with that the same configuration, I'm going to go ahead and change my technique as I go through it slightly. Okay, so the very first run I did, I used, uh, I swiped, 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 and then used Kyrie. So again, I've got three medals at the start, which are just 10% percentage medals. I put them in kind of like the wrong order, like so they weren't going to get any points whatsoever. Um, well, they're only going to get like one point for one damage. Uh, so I swiped, 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 which is what the little s means. I use the special with Kyrie Plus, which is what the big s means. And if you ever see a little lowercase t, that means I tapped with a medal. Um, so I've gone ahead and written that down and the points I gained from that. Um, essentially what I intend to do is go through the entire high score challenge and vary my techniques slightly in a few different ways. So you can see, for example, on my second run through, I went, I don't know why that says t, there should be an s, but I went swipe, 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 swipe. I swiped over, my apologies, I swiped over Kyrie and then attacked with Keyout 17 and see if the points changed at all. For the first three enemies, the points didn't change at all, changing the technique, but for the third enemy I did, and I got two, well, almost 2,000 more points. And you might say, well, that's barely even a difference at all, why bother? Uh, but that's kind of the point. You never know how many points you're gonna get. And if you're like really, really close to 125 million, for example, or whatever the next point ranking is, or if you're like neck and neck with your opponent and you're really like, you're like place, I don't know, 5,010, for example, and you can improve your rank just slightly. All you have to do is squeeze out a few more points and you can bump up your rank. That's pretty much what this is for. Um, I'm just improving your score in general. Um, so if you go have, have go ahead and have a look here. Um, I've done a couple of runs with this and I'll take you through another run now just so we can see what happens. Um, I gained a few additional points in a few places here. Um, like towards the end, I was trying to use uh, Keyout 17 where I could like and skip Kari, but then I realized I would die if I didn't and actually, and <laughs> actually forgot, well, sorry. I realized halfway through the run that I wasn't bringing a second chance with me and therefore died uh, at a certain point. So, but the point is I gained some more points along the way. What the spreadsheet does, it will automatically update with the best run that you've done so far and it will put that put that down the bottom here. So say for example, like uh, I'm against the Cannon Camel in the blue route, uh, the, the second, uh, the first time you versus a Cannon Camel in the blue route. Um, I got a 6,000 point better score when I varied my technique slightly. So that's gonna update this cell right here with the new highest score that I could potentially earn. So what you do then is you take, once you've filled this out, doing a bunch of different techniques, doing the high score challenge a bunch of different ways, you take all the best possible runs and then you look in the spreadsheet and you go, okay, which is the best possible run every single time? And then you come down 
and do that best possible run. So I've written out a theoretical best score you can get, uh, and that will keep updating itself effectively by just summing together all these numbers here. Again, it's kind of ugly right now, but it'll probably make more sense if we actually go through it. So let's go ahead and do a blue run right now, and we'll try and change up the technique a little bit right now. Again, I don't think it's going to like give us any dramatic point increases, but you know what? You never know. It might do. So um, again, I've just thrown in literally three percentage medals right here. So one, two, three at the start. Uh, I'm using Starlight because I get a Kari. Um, I can use the Kari medal right there, and then I can do decent damage with uh, my Keyout 17 there. I might take this Keyblade though, and I might change it up. I might change it to a Keyblade, which offers much better bonuses for my Keyout 17. And, but then I'll just write that down. I write in, okay, in this, you know, slot right here or whatever that I've changed it to, I don't know, Counterpoint just for example, so I might write Counterpoint, the order that I've done it in, and then I'll go from there. Just so I always have a record of my highest possible score that I'm gonna have. Um, because obviously, if you don't know how you achieve a certain score, then you're not gonna be able to replicate it. Um, obviously I'm gonna bring a Kairi with me, just be, oh, I did have second chance, maybe it didn't go off. Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so let's go through and see if we can see what I'm talking about here. If it eventually loads. Okay, so we're gonna load it up here. We're gonna go through the blue path again, because that's what we've been doing so far. So, aim will pop. Again, the first few enemies really aren't going to make that much of a difference because they have so little health and either Keyout 17 or Kyrie are going to do so much damage that it really doesn't matter what we do. So, um, but saying that though, I mean, we could... If we use Kyrie, we're going to be at the max buff cap anyway, so... Alright, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's go ahead and use Mickey right here and that'll give us plus three upright strength. And that way, if we use Sora now, he gives us plus four upright strength on his own, but then we'll add that to, that's sorry, we'll add the plus three that we got from Mickey. Because Mickey's in the wrong slot and it's not particularly strong anyway, it did one damage, so it's barely gonna affect our point score. If we go ahead and swipe here and then, um, let's tap here. Okay, so let's just write this down what we've done so far. So we've gone ahead and done a swipe with Xemnas, a special with Mickey, a tap with Kyrie, and then we're gonna do a special uh, no, sorry, we swipe a shield as well, so. Tap, Mickey, swipe, tap, and then special, okay. And then we're gonna write the points down. So if you guys wanna fill this out, put your points in the orange cell right there. 930573, okay. Again, we didn't really expect that much, but it was 500 points more for the first mob of enemies than I've ever gotten before. So because that's the new highest number on this page, it's gone ahead and updated itself down the bottom here. I really hope you guys can see this. Um, obviously, when you get to have a play with it yourself, you'll see a lot better than what I can show you right now. Um, but so, if I ever want to go through again, I'll bring this set up, and now I know that this is the best possible one I've done so far. So if I was going to be like, okay, I've done enough runs right now, I'll look over the table and I'll go, okay, this first cell right here, how did I achieve that number? I'll go I'll look it up, and I went, okay, I swipe, special, swipe, tap, special, and then I'll do that again. And then you want to go through the entire list and achieve your theoretical best by doing that. Hopefully I'm making this clear. Um, again, I'm still in like the experimentation phase, so I don't really know what my theoretical best is gonna be just yet, but I'm sort of piecing it all together. Like again, I've already improved my run, you know, five, 6,000 points. Again, in the grand scheme of things, not very impressive. Obviously you could just pull for a much better score without having to think about it, but this is for the really incremental things that might just push you over the line. So, um, okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's, do that. let's keep with that technique, okay? So we're gonna swipe, um, special, I could special with Xemnas, I don't think it's going to matter at all. The reason why this matters right here is because, again, this particular Mickey is giving me an additional 3 strength, a uh, 3 upright strength, which I'm then taking with my Sora. If I was just, just to use Kairi, Kairi already gives literally all the buffs you could ever possibly need. Um, so, oh, and this play, in, the, in this case, she's going to kill all the enemies. Um, that's why it's kind of working against this. Anyway, uh, we're going to swipe here. Again, we'll tap with Kairi because she'll do... 20k to that one enemy, or probably like 8 or 9k if she splits it out, so um, it's probably better to do that, and then we'll swipe again. So I'm going to copy this cell right here, and put it in this one right here to say that we're copying it over, that we're doing the same technique at least. 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 5, 5, okay. Was that any better or worse? Okay, it was about a thousand points better than the previous run I did, which was just using KR17. So you can see we are gradually improving our setup a little tiny, tiny bit. Um, again, I'm going to pretty much... You want to have some sort of method behind your madness here. So again, I'm going to go through the entire challenge doing roughly the same thing. So I'm going to try to avoid using Kari basically. It's what I'm pretty much going to do for this run. So I'll fill out the table right now. You guys can come along with me if you like. So we'll keep going. Uh, the Poison Apple, which again, you can just look up here. Uh, obviously, as you fill in the yellow cells, it's giving you the individual point total for, um, for that particular mob of enemies. So you put in your cumulative total in the orange cells and it will just give you the 
amount of points just for that mob in the cell above. Hopefully this is making sense to you guys, and hopefully it's not too boring. <laughs> Alright, use Mickey again now. So again, we're going to get an additional 3. I could start using Sheon, because she's going to lower the target's defense slightly, and I, on a future run, I might do that. I might use Mickey and Sheon, or not Mickey, and just Sheon. And again, I'm going to fill out this entire thing, and eventually we're going to come up with the best possible strategy. So, um, again, feel free to copy and paste this a million times, and then do like heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of different runs. Um, but for now, we're just going to do that, and then we'll probably tap. Let's tap on the poison apple. So you might even want to record, if you do do a tap against multiple enemies, uh, write down which one you tapped against. Okay, so tap and now key out 17. There we go. So, 4, 6, 1, 6, 4, 1, 1, 3. Bang. Okay, and... Okay, we've that, that was about 1,500 points higher than our last previous. Um, so this technique I just happen to have found right now. Um, in testing purposes, seems to have been a little bit better. So we'll just paste it into the cell again. That's our current technique we're still using. And we'll just keep going like that. So um, I may as well just keep going and... Well, I'll bring you guys along just so you can see the entire process. But um, I do want to do like multiple runs and ideally show you like my best possible run and show you that this is going to work. I mean, with enough permutations, eventually you'll figure out everything in the game. Let's see if we got any additional points here. Okay, so 738-0870. Bang. That was good as well. That was um, well about 700 additional points than before. So that wasn't that wasn't a huge improvement. But again, it's an improvement nonetheless. If you were like only a few points behind your opponent, and then suddenly you could squeeze out another you know 10 or 15k out of like out of exactly the same setup that they had, and just push yourself across the line. Well, that's kind of what it's all about, right? So paste that in there because it's the same technique we've used 30 times already. Let's keep moving on. Uh, with the blue room in particular for this high score challenge, be careful you face the enemies in the correct order. Um, I've just done Fire Plant and then Dark Plant in this room simply because it's level 700 then to level 800 I figured that makes the most the most sense even though the Dark Plant is technically the first one you see in the room. Anyway, uh, again we we'll use the same technique so Mickey first and then like I said I might do another run and then I'll use Mickey, Shion and then Kairi or I might even bring in a different setup entirely and if because I think I do have two Mickeys I could do a Mickey and then a Mickey well no that wouldn't make any sense because I don't Oh, I could do that, actually, because I'd get additional magic strength. Yeah, I mean, I could. Right, again, this is all in the working out phase. Like, plenty of, like, so many different permutations you could have. And just make a record of what you're doing. And if it's improving your score, great, then you know that. If it's not improving your score, then, you know, then you know. You've got a record of it all. Okay, so we're going to swipe again. And we'll tap on the biggest one. Okay, okay, so, like, this, this run, for example, could be doing everything I'm doing right here. And then tapping the biggest one. So, whenever I write down tap... For this run, I know, okay, like, T equals, like, strongest enemy, for example. Um, and let's keep moving on. So that one, I got 1, 1, 2, 2, 0, 5, 6, 1. And, okay, that was about 2,000 points more. So that was about 2,000 points more uh, than my previous run, which is fantastic. So again, we're getting a decent amount of points. Um, go to the dark plants here. Shit. Well, I just swiped over Mickey, didn't I? Well, I'll use Shion here and see what happens. So, swipe, swipe, special, tap, special. Okay, so this cell, for example, I just had to change it up a little bit because I screwed up my order. So, um, we'll tap the strongest again, and then we'll do uh, Sora. And how we get that time? So we got one eight one nine eight three eight eight. And okay, that was worse than before. Okay, so we know. Not to do that, basically. Okay, so if we want to do our perfect run, we won't replicate that move right there to special, special, sorry, swipe, swipe, special, tap, special. That was about a thousand points lower than my previous best run. So again, we're putting together the best possible permutation of runs we could do. So I'll show you what I mean. Like, for example, if I was going to attempt my best possible run right now, I'll look it up. Okay, so 930573. So I'd go here. So I do on the first set of enemies, swipe, special, swipe, tap, special. Then the next set of enemies um, with the same technique, next set of enemies, same technique, same technique, same technique, and then I do a different technique on that dark plant. When I, when I got to the dark plant, I probably just do, uh, based on the chart right here, I'd skip Kari and go straight to key out 17, based on the chart that I've made right here. Um, so you can see, hopefully this makes sense of what I'm doing. Um, like for this particular configuration at 94%, I'm edging towards one point, uh, 125 million. I don't think I'm going to achieve it unless I change my setup a fair bit, which I'm going to do again. I've literally just thrown this together just to make a video. So 
I'm gonna keep playing around with this. I'm gonna share the Excel spreadsheet. Hopefully it helps you guys out. If it does, let me know. Like um, I'll make it available for download on my Discord. So jump on the Discord and come and find it. If you guys have any suggestions for how I can make this better or something you'd like to see, like any advice on high school challenges in general, or just anything in this game in general, please let me know and I'll try and help you guys out. That's what I'm here for. So all the best guys. I hope you're having great luck and yeah, I'll see you soon. All the best.